What's up guys? Today I'm gonna have a really quick tip that's gonna help you guys diagnose a problem on a Ford F-250. This one's a 2000 model and it's only blowing out of the defrost. So take a look at this video and it'll help you diagnose the problem and get it fixed. All right guys, so customer brings the truck in. This is a 2000 Ford F-250 with a 7.3 in it. And his complaint was the defrost is the only thing that's working on the truck. The AC system is working great. He said it's ice cold blowing out of the defrost, but that's all it'll do. So I'm gonna show you guys what to look for, how to diagnose this yourself, and we'll go from there. All right guys, you can see this is the 7.3 and the F-250. Um, the customer's complaint is it's only blowing out of the defrost. So I'm going to show you what that's about. We have another unrelated issue. The blower motor wasn't working properly and we diagnosed it as a bad blower motor. We've got that out, but nevertheless, that's going to be a different video, but the AC system switches from the defrost to the vents to the floor through a vacuum system. And that's run right here with this vacuum pump. So I'm going to show you real quick what you can do to diagnose the problem and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, we want to check for power and ground at the vacuum pump itself. So hook your um, test lead or test light. If you, if you got one that shows ground and hot, that's a good thing because it's going to help you here. This one's the Snap-on EECT400. It'll light green for ground and red for hot. So we'll start with testing the ground on this to make sure we got ground. So we want to put our test clamp on the hot side of the battery and unplug it. All right, you can see we got it unplugged. We've got our test lead hooked to the hot side, so we're gonna check for ground. And the way that works, we're gonna stick it in the ground side, which will be the black side. You have a black and a pink and blue stripe, I think's what it is. But we're gonna put it on the ground side. You can see the test light lit up for green, so that shows we do have good ground coming through here. So let's test for hot. So we'll switch our test lead to the negative side of the battery. We want to check it to make sure we got a good ground. As you can see, it's red for hot. So we'll do the same thing. All right, so we want to cut the key on. So let me turn the key on to the run position. And that should supply power to our other side of the wire here. And Let's see. We have no power. So the next thing we wanna do is check the fuse and see if we've got an issue with the fuse because we have no power here. So let's go in the truck and take a look. Let's see what we got. This panel is located under the steering wheel you turn these 90 degrees and it'll come loose and you take the whole panel out, pop this cover off and that will show you your fuse panel. All right, so I've got a monster test light and what we'll do, we'll just check the fuses. It's gonna be one of these three here. I can't remember which one it was. Turn the key on. All right, so there <coughs> it shows we have a blown fuse. If you'll listen, I'll do it again. Got power on that side, no power on this side. There you can see the blown fuse. So let me grab a fuse, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got another 10 amp fuse that's not blown. 
we'll place that right in here and we'll go back out there and make sure we have power to we got power on both sides of the fuse so we'll go back under the hood and see what we got all right so now we change the fuse and we've got the key back on so let's see if we've got any power here now and there you go red means it's hot so we'll try plugging it back up and see if it'll work if we don't hear a noise we know the pump itself is bad no noise and sometimes you can tap the pump and they'll start running and in this case it won't so we'll get it back unplugged check make sure we didn't blow a fuse again and we didn't we still see we've got power here and it's over 12 volts so we'll have to pull this out and we'll order a new pump and reinstall all right so this pump comes out of here um it's got these little rubber kind of socket doohickeys as you see that actually hold it in they just friction fit um these go through the base of course this part goes through the top so um we'll get the new one in undo our vacuum lines hook it all up and see if it work. here's what the little rubber pieces that hold it in um they actually pull down and the plate for the mountain surface will sit in that groove and the one for the pump will sit in that groove they actually snap in there like that but you have three of them just pull them out and save them because the new pump may not have them on there when you get it and you'll be ready to install the new pump once it gets here i'll show you guys how that works all right so they finally got here with the part and there's the part number for you guys if you got a napa close by and here's what it looks like and it does have the rubber feet already on it so that'll make things a lot easier so we'll go here and it looks like we have to pull this one vacuum line off here and we'll be able to push it down in the holes that's here um i'm gonna wait about actually mounting it in there because i need that to kind of move out of the way so i can get my blower motor in they forgot it on the truck of course so i'm having to wait on the blower motor I'll get it stuck in the hole and then I'll mount the vacuum switch or vacuum pump down and then I'll have that done. So we'll go ahead and get it at least hooked up as far as we can right now. All right, for those that want to use only Ford parts, there's your part number off of the original one that was on the truck. I'm not sure which one of those two line codes you'll need, whether it be the top one or the bottom one. But you can pause the video and get the part number if you want it. But um, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. And that's probably where a failure is. Something in there has come loose. But anyway, as soon as the blower motor gets in, I'll get it shoved back in the hole. We'll get it back together and mount that down. And we'll test it out and see if that works. All right, as you can see, we got our blower motor back installed. And... Um, we got the vacuum motor in here and those rubber tips it's hard to get you know to to get it on so there's a bolt here it's a l bracket that just goes down and up it's got the three places for those rubber tips to go down in there and another thing i want to caution you about when you're checking all of this check your lines uh there was a piece of that red vacuum hose that had a crack in it you can see i replaced it with new here and then this piece didn't look too good so i replaced it as well so let's try it out and see if we got ac hit somebody out a little bit just remember to put all your stuff back like it needs to be dress everything up 
your clients or yourself will be happy. Like always, guys, hopefully this will help you. Check the links down in the description. We've got some cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff. Also, some cool T-shirts and designs that we've come up with. Like always, guys, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. Y'all take care.